Hey there, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor, thanks for checking me out. So today I'm gonna talk about uh, what's going on with the banking industry and this collapse and such. Um, Compared to talking about analysis of the Mandela Effect and many worlds theories and multiversic theories and simulation theories, this is actually a breeze. So uh, I'm gonna give you a quick deep synopsis about what's going on right now, perhaps maybe what to expect in the coming days and weeks, and uh, let's get into it. So uh, I didn't know a lot of these facts until the other day, and I garnered them from watching other videos. So you're more invited to do your own research and uh, I collaborated this information. I did the research myself. So it looks like during COVID um, a couple years ago, the uh, federal government relaxed um, and they don't seem to be putting it back into place. The requirement for banks to hold 10% of their assets. Um, first of all, this is all a giant Ponzi scheme is a lot of people realize about the banking industry from the beginning um also uh <laughs> it's kind of a kanji a kanji as they see uh say uh from the caucuses uh, uh you know black magic kind of stuff where you trade uh money for paper and all that but uh i digress so what's going on is uh, they were supposed to hold 10% of their assets um, in let's say you give the bank a hundred dollars they're supposed to keep ten dollars and then they could loan out ninety dollars well they changed it so now the banks like Signature Bank like the Silicon Bank they don't have to do that they have uh, they could loan out a hundred percent now what a lot of people don't realize is the government pressured uh, Silicon Bank, as I understand it, to uh, buy treasury bonds, um, to deeply invest uh, into treasury bonds. So there's a lot of pressure on them to do that. Why would they be pressured? Um, well, I'm going to get into that. And so they did. Now, what the trap and it happened is the treasury bonds. Um, they purchased them at the lo a low interest rate, as I understand it. Went up to a high interest rate, and now they're not worth as much, almost worthless. So um, now they defaulted. Now, um, if you want to retroactively look at it, um, in hindsight, just to let you know, I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but a lot of these banks have AI computers. Um, they have expensive AI computers to do predictive modeling. So when you think, oh, this happened, what a surprise. Um, not really a surprise. There's just some giant, and it doesn't have to be giant, but an AI computer um, that's doing these kind of things and making these kind of moves so the central bankers um it looks to be that they took out uh smaller banks because they're a threat uh they don't like smaller banks they like big banks um that's the way it goes and uh, so if you're a smaller bank with loaning out tech funds um then you're gonna be you know targeted so if you um, the noose was given out. They said, okay, here's here's some more rope. You don't have to have any equity in your accounts and you can loan everything out, but we want you to buy all these funds that will become worthless. And they take the bait and then they put the noose around their neck and they hang themselves. So um, the AI predictive modeling computer systems, you know, know all this and that's, it's done as kind of a trap is in my take on it now um the what really needs to take place for uh, most people is you get communities together you get communities together they go ahead and they invest their own money into their own bank you make your own bank in the community maybe your neighbors 
once you have your own neighborhood bank, you can loan out the money that you have at 0% interest if all signatures of the bank agree. All members say, yeah, this person can get a loan at 0% and they'll pay it back. Um, and then you would have some excess funds that you could put in mutual funds and futures and that's how things should run in a generalized way. Uh, take away the money from the big banks. Um, that's what I suggest. But um, to get back to it, so the uh, these banks, now the U.S. government went ahead and said, oh, we're going to, you know, $250,000 is the limit. So if you're under that, they're going to they're going to bail you out with if DIC with over that. But what they said was, no, we're going to use taxpayer money. We'll bail everybody out. No worries. You know, not to worry. So is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Uh, I, you know, I tend to look at it like the government doesn't have these kind of AI deep learning computers. It doesn't, it seems like these are reflexive actions, um, that are done. And I, can't tell you if it was a good move or a bad move what i could tell you is the taxpayers are now footing the bill for this as well but what it does is uh it takes all the money out of the you know 200 billion dollars is lost from these tech startups um and guys like peter thiel got a kind of heads up or just kind of knew it or figured it out he's a smart guy uh and his protege uh, pulled out protégés pulled out their funds just a couple of days before um, maybe they got a heads up somehow that uh, these banks are going to go over under now what are they into they're into uh, them they're into themselves as singularity and you know with the futurism of tech and the uh, they're really into a lot of this dysmorphian kind of things uh, I can't say, you know, it, it, there's two tracks. You're either going to, you know, believe in God or believe in yourself and they're into themselves. So that's what it's all about. But, um, I digress again. What's going on is that these, the banks were basically, you could think of it, it looks to be a targeted thing where they're going after, um, you know, these kind of banks that are, uh, lending out, you know, they're working with other banks that are figured they're centralized in crypto. So why would they uh, go after crypto banks that, you know, I think these deep learning computers figure out, well, if you want to have a centralized cryptocurrency, then you're going to have to take out these kind of other banks that are into these cryptocurrencies to make our cryptocurrencies bigger. That's why they kind of didn't let, uh, you know, Facebook do their thing with their own cryptocurrency because they're, they're, they want their own cryptocurrency, uh, governmental cryptocurrency where you could track everything. Um, that's what it's all about. That's the big game. So you take out these banks that are into these cryptos and then you have the larger centralized banks that will um, be in charge of that and by the way as everybody knows uh, the Federal Reserve is not run by the government they're a separate entity that's a central bank so you have a central bank setting policies if you were going to raise up uh, interest rates to catch inflation you'd have to raise interest rates up to 400 percent so it's a game and pony show it's a dog and pony show as they say and it's all chasing nothing and uh you're just they're inflation inflation chasing inflation you're never going to catch it because you release too many uh too many dollars into the uh into the economy so what you need to do is take those dollars back any uh that's part of it anyway uh quick deep analysis of what's going on thanks so much for tuning in like subscribe share love you guys have a great day peace out cub scouts bye bye